Hi guys and welcome to the next episode of my van build series. I've started this over cab cupboard here in the last video I think it was um, and I've, I've framed the area just making sure that it's dead square which it looks to be pretty good. I've used lots of this roofing batten throughout the build. It's cheap and cheerful when it's easy to work with. In the previous episode, I made this panel, which goes up over the top. And this panel slides in there and it covers the edge of the ceiling. So my plan is to use the framework I've made behind this to cut out the hole using a flush cut router bit. So I've got some packers here. I need to lift this up slightly, just so all the other cladding lines up with this. Um, and then I can drill my hole through here, run the route around and it should have a nice cut out for where the cupboard will go. Packers there, packers this side, and that's just to lift it up because I cut the groove off the bottom of the, this board. So there we go. Now I want to get a couple of screws in there. There's nothing. Here I have the route a bit, and that will go in there. It's got to take out quite a bit of material, so this is going to get really dusty. Um, I may put a sheet over here just to stop the cab getting completely covered in dust, actually. Right then, quick beverage before we begin. I've put this plastic sheet here between the cab and the back so all the dust doesn't go in the front because it'll take us forever to clean all that dust out the air vents and that. So I've, I've cut this hole in here and I can feel where the edge of that frame is, just down here. I've set the router up so the bearing will go through but the cutter will be cut in this piece. So when I run the router down, um, the bearing will then meet the frame and then we can just follow the frame round and it will cut us a nice clean hole hopefully. That's the plan anyway. I've got my ear defenders, safety glasses and a dust mask. You can get thinner flush cut bits so you don't have this big groove here because it's taking out quite a lot of material and there's loads more sawdust so I'll put a link in the description for a slightly thinner one, it may be better for you. Loads of sawdust. Got a nice clean cut out there though. I'm pleased with that. I'm just off to get some more tongue and groove clad in. Um, I've also found a free double futon on the Facebook marketplace. So I'm gonna go and pick that up and hopefully we'll be able to use that for the double bed in the back. So here we are at Wix picking up some more materials. I just spent another 120 odd pounds on some cladding and a piece of ply to do the cupboard doors. And I've also got some nice planed wood for making the frames for the cupboard doors. So just look at this, bearing in mind I didn't get any measurements of the person. All I asked them was, does it fit a standard size double bed, six foot by four foot? And they said, yes, it does. So I went and picked it up. Look at this, it's literally made for the van, what are the chances? So I'm going to take these apart anyway as I want them to slot into each other so we can stow the bed away easier, take it out if we need to for extra cargo space. Um, there's lots of different methods for doing this, you can have it fold up against the wall, you can have it slide into each other and slats interlock like that and then it makes it easier to take out. So I've got these angle brackets and I'm just cutting them down. So that's the bed in position roughly. I now need to screw all these bed slats to this beam here, uh, making sure that the spacing's even. I'm now gonna screw my brackets on the end of each slat.
So it took me all of yesterday to get this bed sorted. Um, I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out. I think it looks nice. And I'll show you how it works now. So it's nice and strong. And then all you have to do to turn it into a double bed is pull this from the center. That bit drops down at the moment. So I'm thinking I'm gonna put a metal strip across the top just to hold that up there. So you just slide it out and then you've got a double bed and then you can stow it away. So how's the bed? Are you recording me? Yeah. Oh. So what do you reckon of the mattress then? Love it. It's an so Ikea healthy. mattress and it just about fits in there. You need to trim it down slightly, maybe on the corners and just this middle bit here where the pillars are. So we're going to take the cover off and just trim it down. <laughs> cover off. I think the zip's in that corner. I'm just using a sharpie to mark where I need to cut. If there's a trick for cutting foam, please let me know in the comments. Well, after you've already done it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know for next time. Go <laughs> okay, on. You've got to be firm when you hold them on, though. God. So after a quick Google, I found out that the best way for cutting the memory foam mattress down is probably using an electric carving knife. I wouldn't recommend cutting it down using a hot wire or a hot knife cutting tool um, because that smoke's definitely toxic and it's not nice to breathe in. So I'll put a link in the description below where you can get an electric carving knife. I will be investing in one of them myself for next time and also I want to neaten up the cuts I made on this mattress. It's really sunny today, it's a reminder that summer's just around the corner and I want to get this van finished. Things are taking quite a while because this is my first van build so I'm sort of learning as I go along the best ways of doing things but I think next time it'll be much quicker. So last but not least I'd just like to say a massive thank you to everyone that subscribed to the channel, I really appreciate it. We're over 3,000 subscribers now, which I, I never thought would happen. So thank you so much for supporting the channel and watching the videos. If you enjoy the videos and you aren't already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you click the little alarm bell, you'll get notifications when I post new videos. And if you're feeling really generous, please don't forget to give the video a like as well, because that really helps boost it and um, to get more people watching it. In the next video, I'll be working on the floor ready to lay my flooring and I'll be showing you what I've chosen for the floor. So stay tuned for that and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Cheers guys, take care.